I've got the I've got the bacon maple chicken sandwich. going in. The texture is pretty good on this chicken sandwich. I'll give them that. So I had to blow my nose. Creeper. <laughs> you guys creep him away. That's not how I started this movie out. It's from Wendy's. Okay, it's called the introduced deucing for a limited time the maple or the bacon maple chicken sandwich. I'm eating it right now. Oh my god. Um got cheese on it. I don't know what kind of cheese. It's got maple drizzling. It smells like a pancake because of the maple syrup. Um, it is the bacon maple chicken sandwich. What are they going to come up with next? <sighs> Hope y'all had a great year. I'm having a fantastic one. stuff away. I've eaten this much now so far. It's bacon, chicken, and maple syrup and cheese. Mm, mm, mm. Don't forget tonight, I'll be watching football. Okay, more taste testing. That's what it looks like. There's the bacon, there's the, uh, you can't see the maple drizzle on there. Okay, on a 1 to 10 scale, time for that? Yeah, I guess. I give it a solid 8. Didn't hit 8.5, didn't hit 9, didn't hit 9.5, didn't hit 10. Just a solid 8. It's good. I don't know what it costs. Someone down below can comment to me and tell me what this sandwich cost. It's a good sandwich. It just didn't hit standards of in and out Burger, which is 10. Chicken's good. 
well crusted and I'm prepared. You can you can uh, taste the uh, maple in there, the maple syrup in there. It smells like you're at IHOP or Denny's though. When you smell, sniff that maple syrup. I feel like I'm putting putting it on a pancake in IHOP or Denny's. Or crackle, Cracker Barrel. I've never been there. They have one up near Portland. Um, not a bad sandwich. It's not a great, great, it's not nothing like In N Out Burger. I still like In N Out Burger better. If you guys like maple syrup, you'll like the sandwich. If you feel self inclined to put more maple syrup on, you can. I mean, get, get maybe a packet from Wendy's, I guess. If not, go to your Walmart or your 7-Eleven and get maple syrup if you want it sweeter. This, to my taste, is, is, is okay. It doesn't have to be sweeter. You don't have to put any more sauce on it. It's fine. If you guys want to do that, you can. Just say it. Now, on a One to our zero to one hundred scale. I give it a ninety because it's a good sandwich. I know I use fuzzy math. Moodoo economics. I use fuzzy math. Gets an eight on a zero to ten and a a ninety on the. A zero to one hundred. It's a good sandwich. I'm not going to knock it. The flavor of the uh, maple syrup just explodes in your mouth once you take a bite of it. I'm not going to knock it. It's a good sandwich. Um, it's a limited time only, so. I don't think I'll get it in the, again because I like the Baconator better. Oh, I like in and out Burger the best. But when I go to Wendy's, the Baconator is my, my go-to sandwich. And I love Baconator. Um, so it was good. Uh... Go out and taste it. Tell me what you think in the comments down below if you've had it. Let me know if you don't like it. Let me know if you do like it. <sighs> Excuse me. It's not quite good et etiquette. My mother didn't teach me that. Oh, crap. I have to let it go. I'm doing this broadcast. Ah. Uh. Uh. Okay. Anyway, I like I like the, the the phone that I got because the SIM card in it it announces who's calling you. I like that. The other one did, so I like it better now. I'll have to call them later. Um. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed my review, or I mean my taste test. It's called a taste test. I don't, it's not a review really. It's a taste test. And I tasted it, tested it, and I, it came out an 8 and a 90 on the 0 to 100. I use fuzzy math, guys. And I, I can't help it. What else can I say? Oh, all right. Anyway, glad you saw it. 
hope you had a great new year. I'm having a fantastic night tonight. Thank you all for watching. Thumbs up. Comment down below on how much this this uh, this uh, item cost. Let me know down below in your area. It's at Wendy's. Thank you all for watching. God bless you. I love you all. Until next time on the Michael Malloy Show. I got to change that. I just don't like Michael Malloy. I need the Michael Malloy Show on there. Someone teach me how to change my Michael Malloy. Love you all. God bless. Bye-bye.